All right, ladies and gentlemen, Fab's in the house. And today I've got a special video here um, for you guys. Um, my friend uh, Guillaume uh, sent me a couple of shiro uh, to uh, join our forces and to put together a bunch of shiro gorovs to explain to you guys uh, a little bit uh, the lineup because some people um, requested me to do so. So here we go. Uh, we can start, for example, with the Hati. Uh, Hati is um, a frame lock, titanium frame lock with a carbon fiber scale. And there's uh, uh, two um, uh, two versions of the Hati. This is Hati R, which means refined, and this is just a Hati. Um, the Hati R usually is sporting a Alutex. Uh, um, presentation scale, whereas the Hattie is uh, just using carbon fiber. Uh, in this case, uh, we have a Hattie which has um, a multi-row bearing system, and the Hattie R, they all have uh, uh, multi-row, but uh, you can find also some of these guys uh, with single row bearing. Um, you're gonna see that um, um, the levels of uh, uh, production and uh, uh, three bears and custom division and full custom are gonna differ from um, uh, each other for uh, finishing level, uh, steel employed. So let's say that um, uh, LMAX S30V are the lower end uh, options and then you've got uh, S90V, M390 and Vanax 35, Vanax 37 for higher end uh, models. Uh, so these two guys are um, Hati and Hati R um, and Framelock. Also um, another option is the F3 uh, which is a liner lock, also with carbon fiber scales. So here we have F3NS, which is, uh, it's the new style, all right? And this is F3R, which is um, a different, uh, a little bit different model, also like liner lock, also uh, carbon fiber scales, um, but is less, um, refined, let's say even if this is FR, F3R, sorry, which is already the refined version of the regular F3, but, but as you can see, uh, backspacer is different, uh, the liners are uh, much better shaped in the NS version, as you can see probably over here. Um, the pivot is bigger for the both sides, the handle uh, screw is smaller on the NS and a little bit bigger on the F3R and F3. Jimping definitely, definitely uh, changed um, and the clip is the same. The clip changes from the F3 to the F3R and F3NS but yeah these are both um, carbon fiber options. Uh, uh, let's put them right over here but F3 is a liner lock. Hattie frame lock. Another um, frame lock really really cool is the F95. Uh, which um, 95 is the millimeter uh, length of the blade. So this is a F95, beautiful, beautiful knife. Um, this is, um, there's no internal milling on this one, uh, single row bearing, LMAX uh, steel. So this is, would, I would say, like the, let's say, entry level for the F95. In this case, you got some uh, nice micarta inlays on both sides, and uh, it's just a beautiful, beautiful, titanium frame lock with titanium presentation scale. So basically F95 has the same shape of the Hattie, but also frame lock, but has titanium presentation scale uh, instead of uh, carbon fiber. This is the F95R, which means refined. Again, like F3R, it's the refined version of the F3. This is the uh, refined version of the F95, also frame lock, titanium. This is the Californian Custom Knife, Knife Show uh, Special Edition in 2018, which, by the way, also comes with this pretty cool uh, custom pouch uh, right over here. And um, 
this is a refined version of the F95, which means that there's uh, internal skeletonization, so weight is reduced. Uh, this case, this one has this milling, which is pretty cool, has a special uh, um, pivot and handle screws. There's the clip, which is uh, milled out with these nice grooves uh, to, to match the scales. And um, also, for example, you have some jimping going on, whereas in the F95, like in the nudist, you don't have uh, any jimping uh, going on. And um, uh, the clip, of course, is different in this case. Um, and uh, yeah, there are different, a little bit different tolerances, but overall, uh, you're gonna have uh, the weight difference and the milling patterns and um, uh, the pivot system, which are gonna be different from the F95. Also in the F95 um, lineup, you can find an F95R Slim. So this is the refined version of this guy, of this guy, sorry, but in a slimmer package. So this is gonna be uh, fantastic for uh, uh, EDC uh, carry because it's uh, multi-row bearing. It's uh, very, very slim. Look at this, pretty, pretty slim. Indeed, look at that. Also, the stock, the blade stock is 3.5 millimeter as opposed to four millimeters. And uh, you can see it's just gorgeous, uh, gorgeous knife, guys. Really, really cool. Right over here, also titanium frame lock. Also, in the Three Bears production uh, and also a titanium frame lock, you find the beautiful uh, Quantum. It's a Persian style blade, really, really crazy milling going on right over here. Uh, clip is fantastic. Uh, lots of uh, lots of good uh, things. You got a nice backspacer right over here with integrated uh, lanyard hole. Whereas, of course, the F95 only has standoff, and uh, F3 and Hati they have uh, all uh, backspacer. Let's do like this. So you can see also the difference uh, from the top. All right, really, really interesting. I, I love the backspacer of the uh, Quantum. It's just uh, fantastic, guys. Really, really cool. Um, also, uh, what do we have? Yeah, we have um, uh, the 111, all right, uh, which is a big, big boy, guys. This is a beautiful blade. 111 is the length of the uh, blade in millimeters, so 111 millimeters. 95 millimeters. Um, this is a big boy. It has a huge backspacer right over here. It's the this and the 110 are the only uh, Shirogorov that I know with which has two um, screws for the handle, and the action is just fantastic, guys. Look at this, really cool M390 steel. Uh, the pocket clip is uh, 3D milled uh, titanium. Uh, this also is a liner lock and carbon fiber scales right over here very very cool uh blade it's so big we need to move a little bit everything to the side like this nice also something really cool is uh this this is the 110 ks this is a shirogorov and lee william collaboration really really cool knife it's just a uh, one millimeter shorter than that uh, this is sporting all the goodies and the features uh, that a custom division would do. For example, um, anodized uh, pivot collar, both sides, and um, you have the pocket clip, anodized and satin finished, custom screws over here, a beautiful um, uh, 3D milled, uh, titanium anodized, uh, backspacer, beautifully designed with a nice um, uh, lanyard hole over here going on. Um, crazy, crazy milling features. You have um, a roller bearing system in this one, single row roller bearing systems, uh, which is um, uh, reserved just to the custom uh, division. And as well, you have uh, 
S90V steel for this one uh, as opposed to the M390 LMAX S30V for the let's say lower end models. Also another uh, really interesting option from Shikogorov is the smaller Neon. Um, this is a Neon R20 and uh, it's uh, as you can see it's it's a smaller one uh, and this is the counterpart of the F95 but uh, uh, in a smaller package. Look at this, it's pretty smaller. Um, this guy has a backspacer, as you can see, it's a titanium frame lock, but the, um, the blade shape is more uh, similar to the F3NS, as you can see. So it has this uh, new shape, has the new jimping going on, and um, it's a, it's a very, very nice uh, option, but check the size, for example, compared to the 110, it's pretty, pretty smaller. So uh, the Neon, uh, also you can find a uh, uh, couple versions. Uh, the Neon Lite uh, usually has uh, M390 or S90V uh, multi-row bearing system, has the backspacer and uh, also has the internal milling. The Neon Ultra Light instead is usually using uh, S30V or LMAX, uh, also a multi-row bearing system as standoffs instead of the backspacer and there's no internal milling. Also another option you can find, which I don't have it here, is the Hation, which is the uh, smaller version, so same size as the Neon, but uh, uh, carbon fiber presentation scale, also titanium frame lock uh, um, uh, mechanism for the Hation, uh, which you can find the Hation Lite, which has a little bit different presentation scale, and the Hation Zero, uh, which is like um, the Neon Lite, but with uh, carbon fiber scale and carbon fiber inlay also in the back. You will find also some um, uh, also other designations uh, which are for example uh, T uh, which means like turtle there's some milling pattern uh, in the presentation scale usually for the uh, F95 you find that uh, the F in front of the uh, name like F3, F95 it's designation for flipper and the um, R letter R at the end which uh, it's gonna uh, mean refined version so usually MRBS and internal milling. Sometimes you see Shirogorov with uh, running on washers and uh, and these are are seen on some earlier earlier versions like the 95, the 111, F3, Hattie and Tabargan as well. Uh, for the pivot system you're gonna have the three, um, actually four um, uh, options which are SRBS which is a single row bearing system, you're gonna have MRBS like in these guys which is multi row bearing system and then you're gonna have SRRBS which is single row roller bearing system like stuff you find on the custom division and in this kind of collaboration and then you're gonna have MRRBS which is multi-row roller bearing system only reserved to the full custom. So these are gonna be all the options uh, uh, for uh, the, the, the pivot system um, and uh, also yeah you can uh, you can see for example here that the uh, the the overall options uh, from for the size are divided in three uh, categories neon hation f3 f95 and uh, hati and uh, 111 and 110 uh, these are the three main options for the size also for what concerns the sound check this out hati r hati very similar hati very similar this is the f3 r And this is the F3NS. It's very different, higher pitch. This is the Quantum. This is F95R Slim. Beautiful sound. 
This is the F95R. And this is the F95. Very similar, but a little bit different. And the action also, it's very different running on single row bearings as, as opposed to multi row. This is the 111. Guys. Very, very different, beautiful, loud. Look at, listen to the closing sound. Oh, this is like a pocket sword. This is the 1110, uh, 110, sorry. Here you, he you hear also the kick stop flipper engaging. But this is much nicer and muffled than this one. And this is the Neon R20. Beautiful closing sound. But very different. They are similar to each other, but they have uh, pretty small nuances uh, uh, between, uh, between the lineup. So yeah, so there you have it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.